I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Felix Zhu, the CEO of ARPA. Felix, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today and thank you for being here. Thank you, Ashton. It's my honor to be here. Thank you so much. Let's talk about ARPA Chain. How would you best describe ARPA and how is it making the blockchain industry a better place with your technology? Of course. Actually, um, you know, we built ARPA uh, with a phase that we try to make data flow more easily and more freely, actually. So we use a cryptography method called multi-party computation, which is a cutting edge cryptography, uh, you know, to uh, basically, you know, that, be, uh, that being able to do private computation on blockchains. So right now we have our testnet alive um, on Ethereum. And we are also making a lot of progress with other blockchains. So basically, it's a computation network that has privacy-preserving feature, um, and that enables a lot of applications on public blockchains and also enterprise blockchains as well. Very interesting. So you're ensuring privacy on blockchains, but on, on public blockchains, are there privacy issues right now? Is that the implementations that you're solving mainly on public blockchains for companies? Of course. Actually, uh, so our solution actually works for both enterprises and also individuals. Um, so I think, you know, like uh, one of the biggest issue on blockchain right now is privacy. So you are, so we are talking about transaction privacy. We are ta also talking about data privacy. So think about, you know, my data is can easily be copied and transferred to other places uh, because, you know, there's no there's no cost for copying the data. So that's the biggest problem. Right now, the data industry have, or, you know, is facing. So our solution is to enable kind of processing of data without even seeing them, right? So uh, you can think about us as you know, a computation method you know, to implement on top of encrypted data, right? So the data within the computation process is never being decrypted. So that's the, uh, you know, that's the, uh, uh, the core of MPC cryptography. That's interesting. And are you guys, you guys are implementing this into smart contracts. Um, Ethereum smart contracts are the most well-known in the industry right now. And Bitcoin is able to do some smart contracts through some other functions. Um, does this help Bitcoin and Ethereum the most? Or is it more so, I know you guys are coming out with a mainnet for the blockchain uh, for ARPA. Is it mainly focused on ARPA or is this a, you know, a blockchain industry-wide solution? It's actually an industry-wide solution. So we try to be the universal kind of privacy computation layer for blockchains, right? So our first kind of uh, testnet is released on Ethereum, right? So we use actually, a, uh, you know, a user can use a proxy smart contract, you know, can implement a smart contract and trigger our network to perform privacy-preserving computations. Um, for example, for example, several banks, they can search for blacklist in a more in a very secure way you know without disclosing uh you know the pretend the prospects information and also do not does, does not disclose each bank's blacklist you know so that they can search for blacklist on encrypted data right so uh basically you know like we don't have our own blockchain uh we you know we do uh, we perform as an as a layer two solution for other blockchains that's great. That sounds really useful. And how long has your team been working on the development for Ar ARPA? And when is the next level of the solution coming out? Yeah, so uh, we are actually not a new project. We have been working for, uh, we have been working together for more than a year now. Actually, uh, our idea was first generated back in uh, the late 2017. And, uh, and the core team actually uh, went all full time uh, back in April uh, last year, so it's been you know a year and half uh, and one month. Mm -hmm. uh, and our you know right now our testnet one is live, and then uh, you know our mainnet is supposed to be uh, launched at the end of this year by the end of this year. Uh, so and by that by that time you know we are able to uh, you know we are able to do privacy preserving uh, supplying to several blockchains, including Ethereum and also Ontology and, and also some other you know, leading block, public blockchains. That's great. And when the main, mainnet is launched, what are some of the use cases that are practical 
that could be serving individuals as you are targeting both enterprises and in individuals? Of course. Yeah, so individuals is actually um, a bigger market you know, for us to go after. Right, so think about personal data and how personal data is, you know, being used and being monetized these, day, uh, these days. Uh, you know, it's all by uh, big enterprises. For example, the internet giants, you know, Facebook. Um, and uh, and what we try to do is actually we try to build a secure data wallet uh, or a digital asset wallet for individuals. You know, so that they can actually do the custodian to several computation nodes in our network. And then whenever an advertiser try to perform analysis on individual data, you know, they can come to our network and do uh, that analysis uh, in an encrypted form. Right? So basically, we enable secure monetization of personal data, and we, uh, we will reward these individuals that you know, contribute the data with some tokens. And also with you know, some, uh, the tokens will also go to the custodian computation nodes mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's you know our application to the individuals, and right now we are more targeting to enterprises because you know enterprise data is you know, somewhat more valuable. Um, you know, some of the applications that we are doing right now is uh, you know blacklist sharing, um, and also um, you know and and also kind of multi-dimension analysis on encrypted data. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, right now our partners include. Several large, several, one, uh, several largest you know, financial institutions, uh, for example, Minsheng Bank uh, in China, and also Alibaba Cloud uh, and, uh, and Sinochem. So those are very large companies. And we are also very actively going after you know, for, uh, overseas companies uh, and public blockchains like Icon in Korea, and also, uh, and also uh, you know, try to build something on Polkadot as well. Very interesting. Yeah, I was just going to ask what kind of enterprise partners you guys have at ARPA, and it sounds like you're doing really well. Um, can you talk a bit about the business model and how you guys are driving revenues with ARPA? Are you charging individual clients and individuals on a SaaS-based model, or how does that work specifically? Right. So currently, it's more on a SaaS-based model uh, you know, to enterprises. Basically, you know, we'll provide a solution uh, on you know whatever blockchain that had that they have implemented, and then we charge additional fee for kind of tech installment and also for per time usage, right? So for example, if you know several banks want to perform uh, like kind of search on blacklist, you know they will kind of pay us with some uh, with some money, and then it will be converted into tokens uh, as well, right? So basically that's what we have right now, and for individuals, you know it's more gonna be like. Uh, uh, a person would take uh, a percentage cut, you know, from all the kind of uh, activities that they try to monetize with their own private data. Yeah. That's great. And once the mainnet is launched, what does the you know one to two year roadmap look like after that in terms of development? Do you guys still have to build a lot of extra solutions on top? Of course. Yeah. So we have a lot of applications that can be built on top of our layer two solution. Right. So, for example, uh, you know, uh, in, in finance, you know, there's a joint uh, analysis on, on, you know, financial on financial institution uh, risk metrics, and also for you know blacklist sharing and also for advertising. Mm -hmm. You know, you can try to do kind of ROI analysis with our solution. But uh, you know, like there are other things. For example, key management systems and also uh, personal uh, you know, data wallet. So those are the applications that can be built on top, on top of our uh, network, but we will also partner with third parties and other developers to you know to make the ecosystem more uh, robust. Mm -hmm. That's great. And are you seeing customers specifically from diff from specific geographic regions, or because it's really blockchain related, you have customers all around the world and enterprise banks? And how big of a problem is this? Like, are there a lot of banks that need? Blacklist services for you know blockchain. Of course, we think it's uh, it's kind of a universal need. Uh, right now, we are more focused in the Asia area. You know, we have business partners in China, in South Korea, uh, and we are developing also in the Southeast Asia as well. But uh, you know, like we so that actually like two weeks ago, I went to Consensus and we talked to IBM uh, and also Credit Suisse uh, Innovation Lab. Right. So they are very interested in the solution. Actually, like we are kind of uh, 
go in play uh, go in in place with uh, IBM's kind of phase two vision to build a secure data marketplace, right? So it's uh, it's it's very important for us to go you know global. Um, you know, of course, on the protocol level, it's you know we support different kind of applications across the area. Uh, you know that that's also beneficial to our ecosystem as well. Mm -hmm. That's great. Global is the future. So, how is your team uh, doing? Are you expanding the team, um, and is that in prepare preparation for the mainnet? Uh, yes, actually, right now our team is uh, you know we, we have we have ten full time core team members and also five research uh, team members. Uh, so most of us you know has been uh, most of us actually worked in the uh, work in the U.S. Uh, you know. Two guys used to work at Google, and several guys, you know, work in the financial institution fintech areas, right? So uh, we definitely have a very kind of a, you know, uh, a global perspective, uh, and also, you know, we are trying to uh, add more members and evangelists actually across the area. Uh, for example, we have advisors uh, based in based in the U.S. In the, in the West Coast, and also we have advisors in India, you know, trying to do some business business development there. Uh, as well, so uh, you know, I would say ARPA is uh, you know is a, is a very kind of we focus on the protocol level, but on the applications, we'll we'll provide a lot of support for mm -hmm. you know uh, for a lot of uh, you know, teams that's interested in our technology. Mm -hmm. That's great, Felix. That sounds well spread out. Now, if people are looking to get involved with ARPA and learn more about it, what's the best way for them to learn more? Sure. Uh, I think the website, you know, we, our website is rpachin.io. You can find it, you know, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, we have our white paper and also some other information is available there. And we also have our te Telegram channel and also Kakao group uh, and uh, also, you know, YouTube channel that you can follow us as well. So, uh, and for our testnet, you know, you can log into testnet.rpachin.io to check it out. You know, we showcase a lot of different kind of algorithms that we developed uh, using multi-party computation. So it's a very interesting way to, uh, it's very fun, it's actually a very fun way to learn more and to try it out yourself. That's amazing. Thank you, Felix. I'll leave the links to that stuff in the description box below. And uh, I'm looking forward to the mainnet release of ARPA and uh, the growth after that. And I thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Ashton. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's very good you know, connecting to you, and uh, hopefully you, know, you like our project. Thanks.